Are you somewhere feeling lonely? Does someone love you? Tell me how to win your heart For I haven't got a clue But let me start by saying I love you I think of Tuskegee and cutting grass. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, that's when the family uh, time, Dad and I would wax the car. I could tell you what the wax smells like. Uh, I could tell you what the lawnmower was all about. You know, that gassy kind of oily smell. Blackberry pie. Whew, my brother. Peach cobbler in the kitchen. It was just. It was just home. Probably the best of times. Oh, child, but then you, then you came into my life. You made my jagged edges smooth. You made my, you made my direction so clear. You, oh, when you became my purpose, more and more I find that you're my reason for living. You see, you're my heart, you're my soul, you're my soul. That's why I'm standing here singing and opening my arms to you, Jack. I want to say, girl, come on, why don't you? Oh, we live in love forever, yeah. first went to Motown, I had a chance to watch the other guys before us. You go from being completely invisible, um, maybe you could talk to one girl, maybe, maybe you found somebody that says I love you, and then you go out into the world and you don't have to say I love you anymore. They say I love you, and then you go, really? And you go through about five years of complete, wow, this is fun. And then as time goes on, you go, this is not cool anymore, because now, how do I know who loves me? Let me tell you when you know you've changed, and then this is when you get scared. You wake up one morning, and from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed at night, everything you do is all right. Everything you do is, it's all right, Lionel. Everything's perfect. And you know, all right, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to knock all these things off the counter. It's quite all right, Lionel. We'll, we'll clean it up. No problem. I'm going to take this Coke bottle and throw it behind the bar and we'll break everything in the bar. It's quite all right, Lionel. Everything's fine. So I watched what Marvin went through. I watched what Michael and the kids went through. So I always figured if when we get famous, we're going to try to avoid that. I'm stuck on you. I've got this feeling down deep in my soul that I just can't lose. Guess I'm on my way Need a friend And the way I feel now I guess I'll be with you till the end Guess I'm on my way Mighty glad you stayed Right after All Night Long, right after Hello, uh, going back to Tuskegee became an event opposed to a place where I could hide out. I tried to sneak back into town 
And I remember um, I came in at 12 o'clock at night to kind of get to my house. And one of the police officers in town saw me in the car. The next thing I know, the mayor was coming up the driveway. <laughs> I realized I don't think I'll be able to sneak back to Tuskegee, but there's a, there was a time when I would go back just to walk up in the woods for a minute. After a while, it just became too hard to go home. My dad called me on the phone and said, son, I'm not feeling well. I'm going to go to the doctor and check it out. Would you go with me? And I'm used to doing album tour, album tour, album tour. And of course, the company was going, oh my God, Lionel, dancing on the ceiling. You got the Oscar, you got it. Come on, babes, we're on the roll, man. Bam, 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 bam. I kept thinking, let me go home and check on my dad. And um, we got the news that, you know, it's not going to be good. And I didn't want to do the next album because I want to be there, and it's that, this is the only time I've got. It's a funny thing when you stop, and you think it's for the right reasons. Well, also when I stopped, my marriage fell apart. And during that period of stress, the doctor checked my voice, and he said, you know, you got polyps on your vocal cords. In other words, the more I was slowing down, the more I realized, Wait, what the heck, I'm falling apart. So what ended up to be a year off, became three years off. It was probably, as I look back on it, the thing that saved me. If I would have kept that same speed going, I would have probably hit the wall early on because it was designed to not hurt me. It was designed to kill me. I always say to people every day, fame, money, and power does not um, change you. It only magnifies you. If you've got a little problem, by the time you get 90 to 100 million dollars, it could kill you. When I write the book, this is the story that's going to be told. Every song they told me would ruin my career. When I got into the business, I didn't know there was R&B radio. I didn't know there was pop radio. I didn't know there was rock radio. Because I was not in the music business. I was not a musician. I'm an economics major. Come on. So when they said, who are you going after? I didn't know I was politically incorrect by saying Paul McCartney. I did not know I was politically incorrect by saying, well, uh, Billy Joel, Paul McCartney, we're going to be the Black Beatles. How stupid did that sound in the middle of the Civil Rights Movement? Okay, Lionel, what are you going to write? I didn't think I'm going to write an R&B song. I'm going to write this song. And it came out that wide to the point where you know you're in trouble when you walk into an R&B station with Easy. The guy said to me, Lionel, we can't play that, it's too white. Okay, so I'll carry it over to the white station, which I thought was just another radio station. They played it. I wrote a song called Just To Be Close To You. That's perfect for R&B, Lionel. Lionel, that's too black. I walked in with three times a lady in the middle of disco, and I carried it to the Jack the Rapper convention, and they looked at me and said, really? This song right here, Lionel, is going to ruin your career. 
And then I came back with Ceylon. And this is going to ruin your career too. Because you are all of a funk band. You need to recognize that. Okay, but here's what I found out. All the songs that were going to ruin my career went around the world. So I got to the point where I started saying, I want to only deal with songs when they tell me they could ruin my career. <laughs> Stuck on You is not a color. All Night Long is not a color. Sail On is not a color. Brick House is not a color. If you look at who we really are as people, we're just people. And you know why these songs connect? Because I'm not talking about a race of people or a color of people. I'm talking about stories that we all live. Oh, love.